Welcome back to latest cars, but today, we're taking a turn from four wheels to afterburners. Yes, we're diving into the skies and talking about one of the most iconic fighter jets of all time, the MIG-29 Fulcrum. And this isn't just any version, we're looking ahead to the 2026 MIG-29, the modernized beast that's still proving its worth across battlefields and airshows around the world. The MiG-29 Fulcrum is a twin-engine fourth-generation air superiority fighter originally developed by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. But as we move into 2026, this warbird has received updates that make it more lethal, agile, and relevant than ever before. It's the perfect blend of Cold War muscle and next-generation tech. So what's new in the 2026 variant? Russia has been quietly upgrading the MIG-29 platform under the MiG-29 SMT and MIG-35 programs, but the latest iteration in 2026 combines several elements, digital avionics, precision strike capability, and an expanded combat radius. It's a fulcrum, but with a 21st century punch. One of the biggest changes in the 2026 MIG-29 is its new radar system. The jet now uses the Zhuk ME radar, a highly advanced multi-mode radar that allows the pilot to track multiple aerial targets while also mapping ground positions with pinpoint accuracy. It can detect fighter-sized targets at ranges up to 120 kilometers, and that's a game-changer. The engines powering this fighter are the RD-33MK, upgraded turbofans with increased thrust and reduced infrared signature. These engines give the MIG-29 a top speed of Mach 2.25, which translates to over 2,400 kilometers per hour. Yes, it's still blisteringly fast, outrunning most competitors in its class. But speed isn't everything, maneuverability is where the MIG-29 has always shined, and 2026 is no different. With its fly-by-wire system refined for tighter response and vector thrust capabilities on some models, this fighter can perform jaw-dropping maneuvers that even modern Western jets respect. Inside the cockpit, the 2026 Fulcrum sees a complete transformation. Gone are the analog dials, replaced by glass cockpit displays, digital targeting systems, and a modern heads-up display. Pilots now benefit from real-time data sharing, infrared search and track IRST, and helmet-mounted targeting, giving them a lethal edge in dogfights and long-range engagements alike. Weapons. Oh, it's fully loaded. The 2026 MIG-29 can carry a range of Russian-made air-to-air and air-to-ground weapons, including the R-77 and R-73 missiles, precision-guided bombs, and even anti-ship missiles. This flexibility means it's no longer just a dogfighter, it's a multi-role combat aircraft with teeth. The jet has also received improvements in stealth, not to the level of an F-35 or Su-57, but enough radar cross-section reduction to make it less visible on enemy radar. Combined with electronic warfare pods and radar jamming systems, the Fulcrum now has tools to survive even contested airspace. Let's talk range. One of the MiG-29's historical weaknesses was its relatively short range. The 2026 upgrade addresses this with conformal fuel tanks, in-flight refueling, and engine efficiency improvements. It now boasts a combat radius of over 1,500 kilometers, nearly double what earlier variants could achieve. Another interesting fact is its cost-effectiveness. While Western jets like the F-16 or F-35 run into tens or hundreds of millions of dollars per unit, the 2026 MIG-29 offers a powerful alternative at a much lower cost. The expected price per unit for export is around $28 million to $35 million USD, depending on configuration and weapon packages. This price point makes it attractive for countries looking for modern air power without the NATO price tag. Nations like India, Egypt, Algeria, and Serbia have already operated MIG-29 variants and could potentially be interested in newer models or upgrades under the 2026 package. In terms of competition, the Fulcrum 2026 goes head-to-head -head with aircraft like the American F-16V, the Swedish Gripen E, and China's J-10C. While each has its strengths, the MiG-29's agility, ruggedness, and low operating cost make it a strong contender for countries in Asia, Africa, and South America. Another big win for the 2026 version is modularity. Russia's United Aircraft Corporation has worked to make maintenance easier and allow users to swap systems with more local or customized solutions. This modular approach can reduce downtime and improve mission readiness, especially in rough environments. It's also worth mentioning the carrier-capable version, the MiG-29K. While primarily operated by the Indian Navy, upgrades from the 2026 program could trickle down to naval variants, boosting maritime airpower in regions where carrier-based jets are essential. 
Now let's not ignore the elephant in the room, geopolitics. With tensions high between Russia and the West, aircraft like the MiG-29 have become symbolic as much as strategic. Countries purchasing the fulcrum are often signaling their alignment or independence from Western defense doctrine. That said, the fulcrum has seen actual combat in several regions. From conflicts in the Middle East to patrols in Eastern Europe, the MiG-29 has proven its reliability under pressure. The 2026 updates only strengthen its battlefield reputation. Training and simulators have also seen major investments. Operators of the 2026 MiG-29 benefit from modern virtual training suites and AI-assisted diagnostics. This not only improves pilot performance but also reduces costs associated with live training sorties. It's not just about firepower, it's about survivability. The 2026 Fulcrum includes improved pilot protection, radar warning receivers, flare and chaff dispensers, and digital threat response systems. These tools can mean the difference between life and death in today's electronic warfare heavy combat scenarios. Public sentiment among aviation enthusiasts remains strong for the MiG-29. It's one of those aircraft that captures the imagination, sleek lines, raw power, and a legacy that stretches back decades. The 2026 version builds on that legacy with smarter systems and harder punches. From an engineering perspective, the MiG-29 has always been built tough. Designed to operate from short, rugged airstrips, it can handle extreme conditions, snow, sand, or heat. That makes it ideal for countries where infrastructure is limited but defense needs are real. So whether you're an Air Force commander, a defense analyst, or just an aviation geek, the 2026 MiG-29 demands your attention. It represents a critical balance, the meeting point between affordability, firepower, and proven capability. Will it dominate the skies like a fifth-generation fighter? Maybe not, but for many countries, it offers something even more valuable, dependability, cost control, and battlefield relevance. And sometimes, that's what truly wins wars. Let's be real, in a world where aircraft like the F-35 are priced out of reach for many, the MiG-29 Fulcrum of 2026 steps in as a powerful and practical solution. It may not have stealth like the Americans, but it's got speed, agility, and killer instinct. And while debates rage on forums and analyst desks about radar cross-sections, BVR missile ranges, and dogfight doctrine, the MiG-29 quietly continues its mission, defending borders, dominating skies, and earning respect with every sortie. So what's the verdict? The 2026 MiG-29 Fulcrum isn't just surviving, it's thriving. Upgraded, rearmed, and reimagined. It shows that some legends don't fade, they evolve. That's it for today's dive into the skies. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and let us know what aircraft you want us to cover next. From wheels to wings, we've got it all here on Latest Cars.